Konnichiwa, beautiful people. I've got nice clean hands. I rinsed all of my stuff. Um, I'm not wearing gloves because this is just for me. This is not going to go to anybody else but my own personal household, so I don't need to wear gloves for this. Um, but I do have all of my ingredients together, and we're going to make some more fire cider. Uh, if you've been following along the last couple of days, I woke up with kind of a tickle in the back of my throat, and I started getting some sinus pain and pressure, and then I started getting a sore throat right back here. It was just it was awful. Um, so I started taking some shots of fire cider mixed with local honey, and um, today is the third day, and all I have is a tiny bit of sinus pressure right here, and that started about 30 hours after the last shot. So since it works so well, we are going to make some more. I did not find all the same ingredients that I put in the last fire cider for this one just because I live in Okinawa, I am at the mercy of the commissary, so if they have it, they have it, if they don't, they don't, and there's nothing I can really do about that, but I am going to make another batch. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to chop all my stuff up first because I'm not quite sure if we are going to have um, enough for two jars or for just one jar, so I figure if I chop it all up first, then we'll kind of see. Uh, if it's too much for one jar or and we're gonna need two or if it's just enough for the one jar not sure so I've got an orange that I'm cutting into segments I've got a lemon that I'm cutting into segments and I'm gonna do a whole blog post about this and I will explain all the medicinal properties of everything that is going in here in the blog post but I kind of started looking up an onion. I kind of started looking it up just a few seconds ago before I started the video. And almost everything that we're including in here has antibacterial properties, anti-inflammation properties, antioxidants. Um, and surprisingly, a lot of them helps with your blood sugar. So that's interesting to me because I didn't know that. So I'm wondering if it really would be good for me to just take a little shot of this every day. Um, I don't know, we'll see. So with these habaneros, I'm just cutting them in half. If you are not used to spicy stuff and you're worried about your skin, go ahead and put gloves on for that because that can get on your skin and can hurt. Um, with the garlic cloves, I'll just cut them in half, but you don't even have to do that if you don't want to. Um, it's gonna be sitting in this for six weeks. So trust me, it'll all come out. Um, we got some beautiful rosemary here. I might actually save just a tiny bit of it for some chicken, um, but beautiful rosemary. And rosemary helps with coughs, um, as well as everything else I mentioned. And then after I got this ginger home, I noticed there's a little bit of mold fuzz on it. So we just wanna make sure we cut anything that doesn't look good away. We don't want any moldy, um, just throw that away. We don't want any moldy ginger, uh, but you can just kind of slice this so it fits easier into the jar. Um, if you have a huge jar and you don't have worry about things fitting. Um, so here you can see there's a little bit of dirt still. I'm going to go rinse this off real good. It's, you can see it's, it's like in there. So I'm going to rinse this off a little better. Okay, I got it nice and rinsed. I got my board cleaned off. I am going to save some of this ginger uh, just because like some spicy honey ginger ginger honey spicy chicken something or other sounds really good to me right now. So I might just do something like that for dinner one day this week. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to save any because almost always have ginger. They don't always have rosemary. I only got the rosemary today because they had a little mini, um, little mini farmer's market in front of the commissary, so that was nice. But, uh, so, let's see, we got all those chopped up. I got these little tiny, like, Thai chilies. I'm not even gonna bother cutting them. I'm just gonna leave them whole. And then, um, that's all my stuff I cut off of the ginger. So, this is all of my fresh stuff, and I'm going to say, yeah, it's probably going to take two jars. So, I've got my nifty little funnel here, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to 
divide the orange pieces, you don't even really need a funnel, but um, the orange pieces between the two jars. Then we can do the same with the garlic. We're gonna do the same with the ginger. Okay, so we're just kind of dividing everything that we have cut up here evenly between the jars, okay? And if you noticed, I did not take the skin off of the onion. There's no need to take the skin off. We won't be eating the skin. We won't be eating any of this. We're going to strain the vinegar out. So no need to cut the skin off. Just put it right into your jar with everything else. All right, and we can work, start working on the lemon here. Okay. Now, this time I have rosemary. I did not have rosemary last time. Uh, that's because it wasn't available, but I do this time, so we're gonna stuff that right in there too. Don't really need that, I guess. And we're going to divide these Thai bird chilies. This might be a slightly spicier batch than the last one, but that's okay. We're gonna start dividing up these habaneros. Okay, so that's most of my stuff right there. And as you can see, it fairly packs both of those. All right, so what we didn't add last time, but I am gonna add this time is a bay leaf in each one. I looked it up, bay leaves are kind of the same. They've got the antibacterial properties, anti-inflammation, adds a little bit of something to it. Um, and like I said, almost everything I looked up also had um, properties to help lower your blood sugar. So maybe I do just need to suck it up and start taking this every day. I'm gonna put about half a tablespoon of peppercorns in each, or just whole peppercorns in each one. I'm also going to put half a tablespoon of turmeric. I can only find ground here right now, so I'm going to use ground. If you can find fresh, by all means, use fresh. And I'm gonna do that same thing. And again, things that I didn't have in the last one, but I have a whole bunch of extra cloves. And again, I looked them up. They're really good for your blood. They're really good for your general health. So we're gonna add those in there as well. Why not use them up, right? And we could not find fresh thyme, thyme this time. So we're gonna put some dried and it looks like I, that's all that I have. So we're just gonna kind of divide it up. Thyme is really good for the respiratory in the coughs. So I like to have that in there, especially since we're gonna be using this, you know, for sick. So, all right, so as you can see, I got all my stuff in there. And now, the thing that brings it all together. This is our apple cider vinegar. It's the Bragg's apple cider vinegar with the mother. Do you see that there, with the mother? And you want to, you can kind of see it in the bottom there, the floaties. Can you see the floaties? I hope you can see the floaties. Um, can you see the floaties? Anyway, if you can't see the floaties, trust me, they are there. Um, and we're going to want to shake it up, make sure that that stuff gets in there. And so basically what they're saying is that this vinegar is alive. Like it's got, um, I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure you could add like apple cider to this and like let it sit out and it would continue to ferment and make more vinegar. Oh, I should have bought a second bottle. Oh, good, that, oh, just enough. I covered both of them just enough. So you can see now that they are full. I'm going to put a lid on each of these. I'm gonna put a lid. They don't have to be brand new lids because we are not canning them. I'm gonna put a lid on each of them. I'm gonna give it just a tiny, not shaking it, but just inverting it a couple times to make sure everything is in there and in the vinegar. And then I'm going to label these 
with today's date and we're gonna wait at least six weeks before we open it and try it, okay? Um, yeah, so we're gonna stick a label on each of these. We're going to wait at least six weeks. And like I said, if you've been following along the last couple days, it really does seem to work. I like, I honestly wasn't sure which way this was gonna go. I wasn't sure if I was gonna come back and say, nope, doesn't work at all um or not but it really seems to have worked like i am feeling way better i'm a little tired today you can probably see in my face but my back was hurting last night and um i took some pain meds and they kind of made me even a little groggy today so um but yeah so hopefully like you can you can make your own uh you can head over to the blog i'll put the, the link down in the description and it will have all of the ingredients um, and pictures and process and everything not that it's a difficult process but um, and we will add um, to the recipe we'll add the cloves and the bay leaves even though they aren't in the pictures okay all right everybody Jone as they say bye in Japanese and we will see you next time bye